All right, guys, Top Test sent me this. It's a carbon monoxide detector, the CT-300. This is uh, like a personal one that you carry with you um, going into like a boiler room or uh, working in a crawl space or something like that. Um, so let's open it up. We'll check it out and see how it works. the box they give you a nice case like most of top test stuff and they got a manual in there so we'll open it up I actually already have opened this one up and started it up just to check it out I've had this for a couple weeks now all right here it is so nice little case pull it out of here and we'll turn it on it's gonna go through a warm-up Now, I found every time I've started this one up, it comes up in the mid-30s, um, which obviously there's no carbon monoxide where I'm at right now. I've started it up outside. I've started it up um, inside in fresh air, all kinds of stuff. It always comes up with this 30. Now, the longer it stays on, it starts to, to, um, to back down some, but you can take this button right here and hold it down and it'll zero it out. So I found mine always comes up with some sort of reading, but if you take and zero it out, it uh, it takes it right back down to zero, not a big deal. All right, and then uh, right here, the set button, we can actually set um, certain values where we want our alarms to go off. So it comes preset for 50 parts per million where it will actually start notifying you when the space has reached 50 parts per million. Alarm two is preset for 500. You can set these to wherever you want it at. And um, yeah, so it has two. So you can set that for lower if you want it or higher, um, whichever one. So um, the higher the alarm, the more it's gonna notify you. So that's that one and that one. So we got that save, we hit enter and save. Okay, so it also has an auto power off feature here. So you can have this thing on all the time and basically until the batteries run out or if you set that, it will cut off after a certain period of time. Yeah, so the APO um, with it on, it will auto power off after 10 minutes. If you turn it off, it will stay on until you actually power the device off. And uh, we have a mute button here. So if it is going uh, going off, you can mute it. You can turn that on and off. And then we have a hold button also. So whatever um, whatever level you reach, if you hit hold, it'll stay. So uh, we're gonna find a couple things to test this out on and we'll see how well it works. So here we're actually in an auto detailing shop and this is the perfect environment to use one of these and to have one of these on you because there's all kinds of diesel and kerosene fired pieces of equipment there around here there's cars running so now like i said there is ventilation here garage doors are up but uh this is actually a diesel fired steam machine that we're in front of right now um and you know we can see there was a small delay but it did go up right away and we're just going to test the environment around this shop here and you can see there is slight carbon monoxide as we're moving our way through here and that's to be expected it's not a dangerous level uh, unless we were right on top of that steam machine but um, but yeah perfect spot to have one of these to test everything out on uh, is in an area like this so next up here we have a ceramic gas space heater and I was curious if it made any carbon monoxide, and it actually does. When it, it, I just started it up here, it just fired off. It does get up to about 18 parts per million. So um, it does settle off, it does go back down to zero, but there is a little bit in the vicinity of it. So um, yeah, you can never be too careful around anything that burns gas, guys. So make sure you test.
All right, guys, so if you want to get one of these, I'm going to put a link down in the description. Uh, use the, the link and the discount code. You'll save some money. Um, it's going to run you about 45 bucks. So, um, but you can't put a price tag on, the, on your safety. So it is always good to have a personal carbon monoxide detector on you when you're working around fossil fuel burning appliances, guys. Always keep yourself safe first. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you like the video, go ahead and like it and comment below and subscribe if you're new here. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.